how to duplicate an image in Photoshop. Now, and actually just create a, obviously multiple copies of that image within the actual image itself. Now, of course, you could do it in multiple ways. There's probably plugins to do it, but I'm just going to use it using the layer feature. I'm just going to go to Photoshop now, Photoshop CS6, and layer, and duplicate layer. Now, that's just fairly simple. You just can duplicate the background layer. I'm just going to quickly create a copy of the background. I've actually done it already before that, so I've got two copies of the background layer. It's just basically a simple duplicate. Now, of course, if you want to create multiple ones of this, it's going to be easier if you can actually do, say, duplicate times 30. Now, unfortunately, there's no feature for that in Photoshop. Really nice if they could add that feature, but it doesn't exist. So, quick way of doing it is to go to Edit, Keyboard Shortcuts, and for some weird reason, the layer, and I'm just going to go down there, Duplicate Layer, doesn't actually come with a shortcut. Now, that would be quite a useful one, I would have thought, but for some weird reason, that's missing. So you can actually just quickly go, obviously, to the duplicate layer, and you can just quickly define your own. And I've just used the shortcut there with the M. So click OK. So that's all done. And then, of course, just go over to do that. Just do that. And then you can create multiple very fairly quickly. So I've created about six or seven different layers. And like I say, it would be really nice if there was a feature in this duplicate layer, times or copies or something, 50. So you could actually just straight away quickly create 50. Of course, you could have like text or some other image as well. And also nice, obviously, if there was a feature to resize and everything. Else. But ah, let's not push it. OK, click OK. So once you've done that, you can, of course, go and select each of the... So, and then just resize. Position, just go to the next one. Position, resize, position, resize, and so on. So you can just basically quickly create with a single image multiple different aspects of that image. Right, well, that's one way of doing it. Of course, there's another way of doing it, and I'm just going to go now. Just going to go back to the open, and I can actually go to edit and define the pattern. Just basically the whole thing, just define pattern. Of course, you could select part of the design, so uh, could do that as well. But I'm just going to select all it. So now, and go to the fill. Of course, that will just fill the entire document with the same image. Not much use. So next thing to do is layer new fill layer pattern. Click OK. And you'll actually see the actual original design there. So to obviously see multiple copies of it, I can just put it down to, say, 25. And you've just got to, it's obviously very basic. So you can click OK at this point. Now, one thing, if you've got the latest version of Photoshop, CS6, you can also go to the edit and use the fill. And I'm just going to flatten that because you can't do that there. Edit, fill. Pattern, and you'll notice then you've got scripted patterns. You've got a selection. I've got a selection here. I've actually created a few, but you can of course modify your own JavaScript files and apply these. So you've got random fill. Of course, probably at that point you actually should really redefine the size of the initial image anyway. So if you want to create a maybe like a reduce it down to a twenty five percent etc of the original image define that as a pattern, then apply the actual script. But otherwise, these scripted things, they actually fill quite a bit of the screen. So uh, it's probably best to resize before you actually start. Um, that's what I found anyway. And of course, you can apply the usual selection of blending modes, opacity, etc., to fill the uh, design. Again, like I say, you can select the pattern there. And I'll, I'll just quickly apply this one, but uh, click OK. And you can see, sort of, again, a scripted sort of that's a brick fill unfortunately it fills most of the screen so actually I'll show you quickly by just going to redefine that I'm just going to image size 200 just reduce it down a bit now define that as pattern okay and go back again to the original then do the fill select that one obviously not the big one 
I'm going to select the slightly smaller one. Click OK. And yeah, straight away, you've actually got multiple images of that initial image.